the documentary remembering gene wilder um this is a fairly straightforward documentary but uh i've always been a fan of gene wilder uh, i've admired him since uh, first seeing him in uh, not only blazing saddles uh but the producers uh high anxiety no not high anxiety i'm sorry uh the last oh it's the last lover or something like that uh where he kind of plays a knockoff rudy valentino um Young Frankenstein. Uh, the guy is a a uh, comedic genius, and this just follows his story uh, from his first start, uh, his big break when he was starring in a play with Anne Bancroft and met uh, Mel Brooks. Uh, from there, uh, they made the producers, and uh, Mel fought hard for Gene to be part of it, uh, and fought hard for uh, to convince uh, Zero Mostel to perform next to him, and uh, in. Look, the, the guy is, I don't think from the outset, he's necessarily a funny guy in terms of his personal life, but he's very smart and he understands entertainment. He understands theater and, and it just follows his career. And it, this is this is a guy who really has no, no baggage, I, I don't think. Um, I think the only baggage he had in his life was the fact that uh, his mother was, had a stroke early on in life. And, and the only thing he could do to uh, make his mother happy was to make her laugh. And his entire life was basically about making his, his mother laugh. And then uh, it just goes on to how this relationship with Mel grew and then how he grew as a performer and then all the films he made. Um, and then just uh, then there's that chapter of his life where he uh, falls in love with Gilda Radner. Um, they, you know, he's kind of the one who grounded her in terms of her, uh, all the problems she had in her life and then the dying to cancer. And then finally ending with uh, his his fight with uh, Alzheimer's and uh, or dementia, I believe it was dementia. And um, look, he's a genius. This is this is just one of those stories of a great man uh, that just continues to build and escalate and just show you just what a great man this was from from beginning to end. And so, uh, uh, highly recommended. Re uh, remembering Gene Wilder, um, you know, a lot of people loved him, and they're all in this movie. Uh, first of all, Gene Wilder, think of the iconic performances. Mm -hmm. He was not a traditionally good looking man. He was attractive, but in an odd way, especially with the wispy hair mm -hmm. and everything from being in films like, I mean, I remember Silver Streak, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, you know? Gene, it's, it's funny because he talks about his relationship with Richard Pryor. It's like they didn't necessarily get along. Uh, in their personal life, but they understood how brilliant they were together. It's and uh, yeah, and that was their relationship. You know, uh, his performance is Willy Wonka and Willy Wonka, the chocolate factory yeah, world's um, greatest lover. That was the other one. World's greatest lover. Um, you know, young Frankenstein, mm -hmm. which was crazy. I saw as a kid. <laughs> Didn't quite that, there's a funny story in there where he wrote the script for young Frankenstein and went to Mel Brooks and said, I want you to direct it, but I don't want you to be in it. <laughs> but he wanted to star in it. <laughs> yeah. He wanted to star in it. Yeah. Um, I love young Frankenstein. Uh, oh. there's a, uh, it, it's, it's awesome, but, um, yeah, no, look, this was on my list to see. I'm glad you got to see it mm -hmm. so that, uh, and I'm glad it turned out as well.